Welcome to this guided sitting meditation. If you'd like, you might begin by simply getting in touch with a sense of gratitude you have for setting this time aside. Or perhaps playing this recording on a whim. No matter what the reason is, whether this is your first time listening to this recording or your tenth, seeing if you can begin noting right now how the body feels when you open yourself up to this practice you are about to embark on. And any gratitude you might sense for getting more deeply engaged with your own experience, with life just as it is, outside of worries about time, anxieties around future events, or being caught up with anything that occurred in your past. This time is simply about getting in touch with the simplicity, the clarity, and the splendor of each and every moment. Nothing more and nothing less. During the duration of this recording, the door you may open to this greater space and sense of being is breathing. And sitting wherever you may be, perhaps taking your shoes off or loosening your clothes to be more comfortable, as you might do when you return home after a long, hard day at work. No expectations to look like anything other than yourself already whole, just as you are, needing nothing, deserving of this being alive. After all, you are a human being, complete just as you are, without having to do anything, or get anything, or be anything for anyone. This is a time for stepping outside of the daily bustle and engaging in a loving practice of simply being. And if you're on a hard back chair, you might play with moving slightly forward so that your back is not touching the chair, but instead establishing a posture and presence that is both dignified and comfortable maybe uncrossing your legs and your hands positioned on your lap in whatever way feels most contented for you. And with affection, as the bell rings, perhaps allowing your eyes to close gently or even resting them in a gentle, non-seeking gaze. So the invitation during these moments is to follow my guidance. And when you care to, if you'd like, surrendering yourself to your own felt encounter with life right now, to whatever degree possible, comfortably, through a loving lens that we often refer to as the heart. So here you are. Perhaps you might begin by welcoming into your awareness what it was that drew you to set this time aside from what is probably a very busy life. And simply getting in touch with that reason, whether it's a general curiosity or a deeper sense of yearning or even no reason at all, Recognizing this gift you have given to yourself, a present you might call being, a present you will soon see that can be accepted 
and unwrapped lovingly and with great self-care in every moment. This is what we call the present of the present moment. Maybe not even thinking of this as a meditation at all or what it means to meditate, including how it might be judged by others. You are simply setting aside all of your cares and feeling alive during these moments. Awakening to this life, moment by moment. Whatever your motive, even allowing your expectations of what you might get during this time to fade away. You might imagine looking out of a window and by chance spotting a small fox gently settling down in a field with no worries, just sitting, breathing, feeling the breeze caressing her body and with her little nose slightly raised, allowing the scent of nature to enter her, filling her body feeling the soft grass beneath her travel-worn paws, not thinking of or analyzing each moment, but letting go to life unfolding before her, feeling alive through all of her senses. No need to take notes in her mind for later, just sitting, just breathing and being. The flowers bloom, the bees buzz about, the ladybug crawls on the tree trunk, and the fox simply sits there as if outside of time itself, simply being. Maybe noting that just like that gentle fox, you can return to an innocent connection with the present moment as it presents itself, moment by moment, by quietly dropping in on your own breathing, wherever that sensation is the most alive within you, the most vivid, and the most accepting of what is. It might be in the nostrils, the chest, the belly, wherever it is, simply anchoring your attention in this part of your body without any intention other than to know the breath intimately. Resting in appreciation. Being with each life-sustaining breath as it unfolds in every moment in its full duration and flow. Each breath just as it is, embraced in the moment of its arising on the inhale, as air is drawn into the body filling the lungs, the belly softly expanding outward and the moment of its completely letting go on the exhale. And all of the gentle transitions between, getting in touch with breathing in this way, moment by moment by moment. No need to control the breath. Just breathing. Breath by breath my breath.
It's not uncommon to become frustrated with how difficult it is just to stay with the breath and even experience some disorientation like, is my mind really this busy when I'm trying to pay attention to something so simple? The simple instruction here is to note this frustration. Just note it. And these thoughts for what they are, just thoughts. Just feelings occurring in your field of awareness. And when you make this observation, just noting where this mind is fixated and then drawing your attention back to the breath, to this moment, and this breath. And this moment. And this breath. And this moment. And this breath. And so what if your mind wanders incessantly, whatever the quality of your awareness right now? This practice is not one of pushing your thoughts away, which is a pretty common misconception. This is a practice of lovingly transcending your relationship with your busy nature of mind, rising above that busy, intrusive, curious, obsessive, unrelenting pace of thoughts and emotions and noting noting when and that you've been swept away noting that at least temporarily you weren't even aware that you've been swept away in this new relationship you have no agenda than to simply be with the breath the in-breath and the out-breath. Noting thoughts as they enter your mind and noting even how your attention is enticed to follow and build upon these thoughts. Observing the quality of your awareness might be dulled, compelled to follow, chase, grasp, or become completely absorbed in thought. And when you notice these things, coming back to the breath, back to your center, breath by breath, just breathing, just breathing.
and tenderly noting where you are right now that each time a thought enters your field of awareness, that's just the nature of mind, nothing to be bothered by. And then simply, and without much ado, releasing the thought, letting go, and allowing your breathing to become the center of your loving attention, here and now. Just breathing. That's all. Moment by moment by moment. Noting your quality of mind right now, wherever you are, and again finding comfort in the practice, knowing that when the mind runs astray, you can transcend the pace and grip of any thought, allowing it to enter your more spacious awareness. The Buddhists imagine this like a lotus petal, each thought floating downstream. The thoughts come and the thoughts go. And like a mother who has noticed her curious child is entranced with a beautiful object, compassionately and firmly, guiding your attention back home to the sensation of breathing. Just this breath. And this breath. And this breath, over and over and over and over and over again.
When the mind becomes consumed with a stream of thoughts, you might recognize a pattern or theme that runs through them as if outside of your control. But without worrying about any preoccupations you might have or judging yourself or being attached to them, just noting what they are and trusting that this insight will be available later for your reflection. For the time being, transforming this relationship with your habit of mind by recognizing your thoughts as thoughts, those themes as themes, and liberating yourself from all of these by returning to the breath gently but also firmly. Just breathing. Just sitting. Just being like the fox. An innocent and welcoming mind embracing each moment anew. Not thinking about the last breath you took or anticipating the next breath. Just this breath. flowing with the sensations, the ebb and the flow, of the inhale and the exhale. The inhale and the exhale. The inhale and the exhale. Now, when the mind wanders again, remembering, like a mother wisely smiling at her busy child, to wrap your attention and intention around this moment, even appreciating the busy mind when it presents itself again, however many times as it absorbs your attention, and then coming back home to the breath, coming back to your breath, this moment just as it is, as many times as you must during this period of being. This is a gentle, compassionate practice of self-care, and yes, one which you are deserving of by your birthright. So just breathing. And wherever you might be right now, knowing that you can practice this larger, non-judgmental level of awareness outside of this formal sitting practice at any point during the day, during your commute to work, as you shop for groceries, as you become embroiled in conversation and maybe face difficult decisions or difficult people, as you watch a young child play. And by the way, that child is an excellent example of what it means to be, just to be. Every moment, every moment, this moment 
is the perfect time to transform your relationship with that busy nature of mind and all the repeating themes that embody your habits of mind. All you need to do is return back to center by breathing, knowing the breathing, being the breathing, coming home to the gentle body just like the fox. And from this place of gratitude for these moments, seeing if you can set a compassionate and firm intention as we come to the conclusion of our time to carry the same level of greater awareness back into your day. That is, engaging with the things you do, even typing an email through the greater domain of being in awareness. Recognizing when you've slipped back into default mode or autopilot and knowing that when you recognize this occurring you are back in greater awareness setting an intention to truly and fully engage with your activities in a more awake intentional deliberate and alive fashion feeling your feet touching the ground with each step as you walk through the hallway and if at any point during the day you feel lost or caught in a pattern of judging yourself or others remembering remembering that the breath is available in every moment this moment and this moment and this moment 